For this video, I've set up a quick demonstration that offers a small glimpse of the potential of this API. In my left terminal, I'll use the MongoDB shell to connect to a single store workspace through the single store MongoDB API. This cluster has 16 total cores running in the single store cloud. You can see that to the shell, the server appears as a MongoDB 6.0 compatible endpoint, but the single store welcome message lets us know it's single store. On my right terminal, I'll connect to a MongoDB instance running on a VM in the cloud. This VM also has 16 total cores. I've loaded some synthetic financial data into both databases. Let's get the total document count. You can see that there are almost 5 million documents in this collection. One thing I'd like to highlight is when I run the count again, the numbers have gone up. Clients are streaming more transaction data into this database in real time. The same is true for the native MongoDB instance. It looks like it has slightly fewer documents. Data is streaming in at about the same rate. Now let's do a simple sort by count aggregation of the customer support level associated with each document. Here we see the count by popularity. We can run the same query on native MongoDB. This is where single store starts to stand apart. The single store database engine is highly optimized to process analytics queries like this with very low latency compared to many other databases like native MongoDB. And unlike some data warehouse solutions, the single store results are updated in real time as changes are made to the database. This stands out particularly well in one of my other favorite MongoDB clients, the Grafana MongoDB connector. I've set up two Grafana dashboards running an identical set of queries over this financial data set. These are connected to our databases through the Grafana MongoDB plugin. On the left side of my screen, I'll load the dashboard connected to the single store MongoDB API. And on the right side, I'll load the dashboard connected to the native MongoDB instance. This dashboard displays the results of six queries and their corresponding query execution times. The top section is pivoted by country. For example, here I can change from the United States to Australia and see the query results update. The bottom shows the total number of rows, the average query times, and the ingestion rate in rows per second. Note that the average query times are well under a second. This means I can have a highly interactive experience. And I also can set up an auto refresh, so I'm always making decisions based on up-to-date information. Now let's look at the native MongoDB side. This displays the same queries as shown on the single store side. Note that the analytics queries are taking a significant amount of time. This makes interactive use of this dashboard very frustrating. Now you might be thinking, this isn't such a huge amount of data. Well, let's ramp it up a bit and see how it scales. I'm back after loading more data into these databases. The single store database now has over 10 times the number of rows compared to the native MongoDB database. Despite having more rows and receiving rows at a much higher rate, the single store database is able to turn around the analytics queries at a dramatically lower latency than the native MongoDB database. This is because the single store engine is highly optimized for having both transactional and analytics workloads running at the same time, and single store makes more effective use of the available resources. Remember, both databases in this example have the same number of cores. The key takeaway. If you have MongoDB workloads that have this sort of pattern, where there's a transactional component to the workload, and you also want to perform real-time analytics on that data, for that type of use case, Single Store can be an excellent choice. And now you can use Single Store through the MongoDB API without changing the code of your MongoDB application. In this example, everything interacting with Single Store is doing so through the Single Store MongoDB API and any other MongoDB client and tool will be able to access this data in the same way. Thanks for sticking with me until the very end. That's all I have for today. Thank you.